Hey everyone, Paul Parmelo here. As I started making children's toys, I used to just go out and buy the wheels uh, from a craft store because it was, it was easier. Um, but as I started making more toys, I found I needed more and more wheels. I decided I've got lots of scrap wood, I should be able to make my own. I don't have a lathe, so I can't use that, but I do have a drill press and a lot of drill bits. So let me show you how I do it and the pros and cons about this. You may have seen these before. These are called hole saws. There's a few different types. They come in all different sizes and depths. And these ones here are called bimetal. They've got uh, small teeth on them and they're meant to go through doors to put lock sets in uh, to cut through the outer metal skin and through the wood of the uh, core. What happens with these blades is that when you're using them on the drill press and they start cutting a channel into the wood, the sawdust has nowhere to go and it ends up accumulating in between the teeth and blocking them. So now what happens is they create friction, heat, and start burning the wood. If you really want to cut through wood quick, fast, without any burning, you get one of these. It's just another model. This is the more uh, expensive type. It's only got three or so teeth on it, so the sawdust is never going to accumulate in between. Um, it's going to remain cool and uh, cut right through the wood with, with no problems at all. Let me show you a few ways of cutting some wheels. We've got three things against us when we use this type of bit. The small teeth, which accumulates a lot of sawdust. The type of wood, this is a piece of pine, so it's got pitch in it, a little bit of sap, um, which is going to really gum up in between the teeth. The other thing is the speed of the drill press. You go fast, you're going to burn it for sure. Uh, mine is set up about 450, I could probably even go a little slower than that. But, watch what happens when we start drilling into the wood. First thing people do is they seem to drill all the way through. So the problem with doing that is now the plug is stuck inside the bit. And the only way to get that out is to push down through the access holes. And that leaves damage on the top of the wood, which damages your wheel. So you can see I've got some burning on the wood. So this is not the way to do it. So the way I do it is I set my depth stop of my drill press to stop about 90% of the way through. So just almost to the bottom, but not quite. This way, you drill through the top, you can pull the blade back out without damaging the wood. three quarters of the way through so the wooden wheel is still on here. Now what I can do is I can simply flip it over and go in the existing pilot hole. And now that you've got 90% of the wood outside the bit, it's very easy to just simply twist it off and no burning. I took a one quarter inch bolt and I cut the head off of it. I'm going to use this part, put it inside my drill press. I'm going to put a couple of nuts on the end and I'm going to feed it up just enough that it's a little less than the thickness of the wheel. I'm going to take my two wrenches and I'm going to turn them opposite directions and jam them together. This way it will go into the wheel and I can sand it. I can sand the complete bottom without the end of the bolt coming through. What I do to mount the wheel for sanding is I simply turn on the drill press and just feed the wheel in by hand.
I usually start with a 120 grit sandpaper just to get the edge of the wood smooth. You don't want to spend a lot of time in the center because if you're making more than one wheel that's going to change the diameter of all the wheels. So we're just going to uh, smooth out the center a bit using the 120 and then we can jump up to 220 grit sandpaper. If I wanted a square wheel, I would use the sanding block. But I like a little more decorative wheel, so I want the rounded edges on the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to use sandpaper freewheeling it. And now I'm going to bring it up to 220. And there we have a nice sanded fancy little round over wheel. And now let's try something a little fancier. I put a Forstner bit in here, and I just want to countersink a little bit, not much, an eighth of an inch. It doesn't matter, it's just for looks. I'm going to use the center mark from my Forstner bit as a guide to cut out my wheel with uh, the drill bit, as we did in the past. Now just flip it over and cut from the other side. And now we'll sand it. There you go. A nice little decorative wheel. A couple of quick and easy wheels made just with shop tools using scrap wood that every woodworker has lying around in the shop. Thanks very much for watching my videos. I really appreciate you joining me today. If you like my videos, please hit that big red subscribe button down at the bottom. It would help me out a lot. And give that like button a click too. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Be safe.